Okay, so the next step is blocking out the various loops of the face. Well, we've got one loop around our eye and we've got one loop around our mouth. And they're the, they're the loops that we'll focus on. Now, obviously, we're only doing half of those loops. So uh, what should we start with? Let's have a look at the draw tool. So we'll use this to do the eye. So let's go ahead and draw a loop around our eye and join it. And then one more around our eye. And join that one. Then what we can do is we can draw loops through this. Oops. And we want to try and evenly space them as evenly as possible. I want one to come through the centre of our tear duct. And let's go ahead and add that. Now it didn't capture all of them, but that's that's because that, that's where that joined. But we can go back and we can easily remedy that. So we can using our draw tool drop one in, drop one in here, and let's have a look and see why this didn't. And then we can just snap that to that. Now we've got our main loop in and we can easily go ahead and tweak these. Sometimes that draw tool doesn't get it straight on straight away. Oh, let's go ahead and turn symmetry off. Because I didn't want symmetry on our mesh. Delete those. As I mentioned before in the last video, I find that at the moment it's a bit buggy with symmetry on, but it is in beta. You have to remember that this is beta software and he's rewritten it from the ground up. So it's 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 new, it's fresh. It's fair enough. So I'm just gonna move these around and find where we're at. So if I change our selection mode in the tool to uh, edges, and then I can add a ring in there. And we'll click that again, and we'll add another ring. And then we'll go ahead, switch back to vertice, and we'll just reposition those verts. Now, we want to keep it nice and low, low res at the moment. Actually, what we'll do is we'll reposition this here, like so. And then we'll click that and we'll add another loop in there. So I want to bring these in here. Bring these up to the underside of our eye. Let's have a look where we're at. It's important that we get these in the correct place so that when the eye animates, it's just going to be this top part that goes down and the bottom part meets it, but it's going to hinge kind of in here. Let's go ahead reposition these ones here just evenly spacing them the the cleaner you work now the easier it is when it comes to subdividing So we can just go ahead, what we can do is we can select the slide tool, we can double click on our loop and we can move this. That's looking fairly decent. We've got enough resolution around our eye, not 
to worry us. Gives us plenty to play with. Let's go ahead. Move these out a little bit more. And let's select our loop. If you hold down shift when you're on the edge of an edge, by the edge I mean the side, you'll see it will change to L and then we hold down shift and double click and it will give us a loop. And then we can just go ahead and extrude that and we're going to extrude it along this path. And that's going to drop our loop inside a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do is just add an edge in here as well. And we'll just I have these um, selection sets on hotkeys. So that's going to give us enough, I think. And we can go ahead and we can select our loop again. And we can just extrude that one more time. And that's going to give us an internal extrusion. And it's just going to give our eye some depth. And that will be enough, I think, for this loop. So let's have a look at the mouth. And what I want to do is I want to include the nose in the cheek there, or partially. So let's go ahead and look at the mouth loop. Let's just have a look at the draw tool that we can use. So if we right click when we're in the uh, edit tool, we automatically go into the uh, draw tool create tool sorry and we can add individual edges we can add lines of edges This gives us a nice way to count our edges as we go. So we're putting in um, even topology. And now we can switch to our bridge tool and we can draw our bridge lines and then we can select our edge and we can add a loop and we can just reposition that and remember I said I'm going to resymmetrize this afterwards and you can see looking at the model now that she's not in fact symmetrical what I like about this program over programs like 3D Coat is, because I always used to use 3D Coat for topology, uh, retopology. What I find with Topo Gun is it is super accurate, and the viewport doesn't get in the way. Uh, the snapping function um, in 3D Coat is. Uh, it's it's more difficult to work with if we if we're doing high detail stuff. By high detail stuff, I mean stuff like this. So we're going to go in now, and we're going to add in our loop for our lip. And that's one there. So we need another one. And then we're going to add one, two. Bridge tool again. Go ahead and add our next loop. 
topo gun just seems a lot more precise. At any time if we find that our rotation's going off, if we click the model and hit F while we're in the edit tool, we set our pivot point so now we can pivot locally. And we'll go ahead and bridge those. didn't catch so let's put that one in manually again you see that's the precision of it I know that I can go in and I can just easily put in a loop manually and let's just reposition our lips around we'll add a loop in in a second and um, with 3D Coat, one of the other things is if you hover over something, it will automatically snap to it. Whereas with this one, I can position a vertice right next to another vertice and there's no issue. Select our edge and add a loop in there. And we'll probably select that one and add a loop in there as well. So very quickly, we've now got a much nicer edge flow and if we switch to our brush tool and head keep border on we can go ahead and we can just smooth that out a little bit. Nice soft, it's like a nudge tool really. And we'll go ahead and just add in another loop around here for our commissural line, commissural fold. We'll go ahead and use the edit tool for that. As well, I'll show you why in a moment. Now, this loop's going to add to this one. Five. We're just planning out where our lines are going to go. And that's our main loops done and joined. We'll look at doing the nose and the chin and this section in our next video. I'll see you in a minute.